that's where I am. Hey Vogue and welcome to my bathroom. My space of putting my life together. No, just kidding. My space of like getting ready and making the effort of self-care. Today I'm going to give you guys my beauty secrets, which I don't have that many, but I kind of just want to show you guys what my go-to things are to use on my face. Obviously this isn't really a Vogue video. I would love to be in a Vogue video. Um, I guess I'm kind of just manifesting. Hey Vogue, I'm going to be showing you guys my personal beauty secrets and what I like to do. So I just showered. I kind of put on clothes. Um, I did wash my hair and I blew it out and I'm going to get ready for my day. So first things first, what I like to do is I like to clip up my hair because I can't have my hair be in my face and especially since I got these curtain bangs they just bother me so much when I'm doing my makeup so and you can really use like anything that you have at hand I'm just gonna use like literally two different clips because I don't even have two of the same clips I don't know where they are so this is a different clip like so beauty secret number one I like to make my lips look really plump it's like my favorite thing so I'm going to go ahead and use this Glam Glow Lip Scrub and I'm just going to exfoliate my lips. I think that when you have beautiful plump lips, I don't know, just everything looks better and anytime I just want to look extra good, I like to start out with exfoliating my lips. But towel, I'm just going to take off the scrub. Right off the bat, you have beautiful plump lips. Then what I like to do is use a lip balm. So the one that I'm going to use today is the Lineage. I'm going to take these. I'm just going to put it all over my lips. And that is all I do, you guys. Just kidding. I'm going to go into skincare. So the first thing I want to do is I did wash my face in the shower, but I want to kind of tone it and make sure it's extra clean. So I've been loving this Super Sika water toner. And I'm just going to take a cotton, upwards motions, and this is a number one beauty secret that I learned from my sister actually because she um, took cosmetology class and she always taught me, Joanna, use upward motions and she always told me, do not forget about the neck area. And I feel like toner just always really refreshes my skin. I love the way it feels. Um, if you guys are wondering what cleanser I used before, I used the Paracone MD Citrus Brightening Cleanser. So when it comes to my skincare, I've kind of learned that less is more. I try to like truly like live by that, but a lot of times I get so carried away with like all these different skincare products because I just love skincare so much. But today I'm just going to be doing what using only my favorite products. So the very first product that I swear by is the Paracone CCC and Furulic Brightening Complex 20%. This is like the best vitamin C serum ever. I am like pretty much out of it as you guys can tell. It just really brightens up my skin tone, brightens up my complexion. So I always like to start out with vitamin C on my face kind of like my first step so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this on kind of pat it on my skin I don't like to drag because you know you don't want to drag your skin just like that then I like to go in with hyaluronic acid niacinamide those are my two holy grails and I've been using the ones from the ordinary so I'm gonna start out with the hyaluronic which I've heard that you're supposed to kind of like mist your face a little bit when you use it. So I'll put like a little bit of damp water in my face. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. Like I'll kind of damp up my face with water. And I'll take my hyaluronic acid, which I'm also running out of. It shows you guys I really use these products. And I'm just going to have to kind of put it all over my skin. And this is just to hydrate. My number one thing has been hydrating my skin because I have very like dry skin and then the niacinamide I use this to kind of just prevent like skin bumps because I heard it helps with that and so I feel like it's been helping with like skin bumps and like blackheads and whiteheads and so I just take it once again and I kind of pat it down just kind of 
what I like to do. After I use the niacinamide, I will go ahead and use a moisturizer, which I use two moisturizers um, kind of depending on my mood. Sometimes I'll use this one, this is the Drunk Elephant one, or sometimes I will use the Super Sika. This is from Medicube, and I've been really liking this. But yeah, this has been my kind of favorite moisturizer, and just because it's so lightweight on the skin and for the daytime I like a lightweight product because when I use a heavy product you go outside there's like the humidity and it's just like too much things on the skin so I just prefer something more lightweight and this is like perfect I like to use an oil on my skin just because like I said my biggest thing right now is just like not having dry skin the Radha Rosehip Oil this one is 100% pure, natural, certified, organic rosehip oil. Um, I think you can find this on Amazon. Then I really like to do a eye hydrator and I've been loving this. this is from the IA Serum. It's the Brightening Eye Hydrator. It's like my favorite thing, I swear by this. It's like this oil that you put for underneath the eyes. It literally just gives you such a brightened complexion. Skin is all pretty much oiled up. I like to go in with a gusha and this is one of my new beauty secrets. It's a TikTok hack and you know we've all seen this on TikTok. I personally like to keep this in the fridge so that it's cold and it just really really kind of like keeps my skin very fresh and awake especially in the morning when I start my day. It also helps with like swelling like especially if you wake up with like a swollen face it kind of just helps combat that and as you guys know this particular notion right here is really great for defining your jawline this is definitely something that i just kind of learned and started doing also i can take this roller right here Last but not least, I want to take a nut cream just because I think it's so important to take care of your neck. So what I like to do is take this cold plasma plus from Pericone MD for my neck. And one thing or a beauty secret that I've always known from my mom is to always take care of your neck because it is what shows aging. Another beauty secret is taking care of your hands and hands also show aging so um, I have this cold plasma plus hand therapy the next important thing is sunscreen so today I'm going to be using the drunk elephant uber sheer daily defense protection SPF 30 you guys I'm not perfect with this but I really like especially this past year I've been trying to wear sunscreen every single day Okay, on to makeup. So I lately have not been a fan of wearing foundation or anything like that. My go-to is concealer. I kind of like to just cover up any imperfections with concealer. That's my beauty secret. It just feels more natural on the skin. I've been loving this Laura Mercier one. It's the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear. And I just love it. So I start out usually by just like getting rid of the dark circles um, and any redness, any blemish which I have one right here then I just blend it with my fingers but in order for it to be blended really well I just like prefer beauty blender some people like just their fingers the whole time but I just take a dry blender Then I like to do um, powder, so my go-to powder has been the Hyaluronic by Terry. I'm just kind of like set areas that are just like that. Okay, once I set with powder, I like to go in with the Chanel Soil. This is probably one of my favorite cream bronzers ever and I can show it to you guys because I'm almost out of it and I personally like to just take a stifling brush and it makes me look like I went to town, I don't know.
Then I take this, uh, this is from Kiko Cosmetics. It's the Dolce Vita Diva Baked Bronzer Perfect Sienna. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this also and kind of set this bronziness all in place. Next on the eyebrows. Eyebrows have always been kind of like really out there because they're really like bold and thanks to my Turkish jeans, they're just very like out there and very bushy and big and I love them. I used to have them thinner, now I have them thicker and I just, I personally like them the way they are right now. Um, but my new thing has been the soap brow. I take the WBC soap brows, it looks like this spray and then I take a little spoolie and I like get the product out and then I begin to kind of brush up my brows in upward motions so as I was saying I like to fill them in very slightly with the Anastasia brow powder this one's in the shade ebony and I just like to just take like the slightest amount and just like a little bit there to kind of define and I do like hair like strokes almost that's my eyebrows filled in for my eyes I kind of like to just keep it the same color as my lid so um I take this California Love palette from ColourPop and I take the shade Sequia. It's like literally just a nice like nude and it's the same color basically as my eyes. Put it in that corner right there. Put it on all over circular motions. It's my go-to. Then I like to do a little tiny wing on the edge and I use this one from One Size Beauty, it's a brown eyeliner and I just love this stuff. Go right to the edge there and I just do like a little line like that. It's so slight, like it's nothing crazy and then I do the same thing here. Little tiny line like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's so minimal that it's like nothing is basically there. And then if I'm feeling extra, I like to do the inner corners very slightly. And then sometimes I like to make my beauty marks pop a little bit more and this is another kind of secret that I do. Next we're gonna do blush. So this has been my new favorite thing. It's the O Blues Rosy Drops from Drunk Elephant. So I take this blush and it's a cream blush. I like to go crazy with my blush because it makes you look healthy and just like alive and everything. Set the blush with my favorite powder brush. Blush. This is the Passion Fruit from Laura Mercier. For highlight, I like this little one from Lila B. Just put like a little bit on with my fingers everywhere that I kind of want a little bit of a highlight. Mascara. So I. This is my favorite mascara, Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. And I like to kind of bring all my lashes outward so it gives like a cat eye effect. I have been blessed with like really long lashes. People ask me like, are these your real lashes? Are those your real lashes? Yes, these are my real lashes. I've done extensions before, but I find it like a little pointless. The extensions just basically give me a look like with mascara without putting on mascara but I'm like I'd rather just put on the mascara than have to do two hours a month and pay like a hundred dollars a month for lashes even though it is so pretty but like my natural lashes are so long I kind of like I said I bring out my lashes like outwards so that they go like to the side so it kind of creates like a cat eye effect it looks like that for the lips, I'm gonna take the Kiko Milano Precision Lip Liner number 402. Really nice, like, nude lip liner. I, loved, I like to kind of create, like, a line up here to the top to kind of, like, make it look like I have bigger lips. Sometimes I'll mix in 420 into the Kiko one. 
Um, because it creates like the perfect shade, I guess. Just makes my lips like huge. Like, look at that, you guys. It literally looks like I got my lips done. So for the color, I'm taking this nude color from Kiko. It's in the shade 15. It's their Hydro Lip. And you don't need a lip gloss because I personally don't like too much gloss and this one's already like a hydrated lip. My go-to makeup or my Vogue Beauty Secrets. It's everything that I do. So that is pretty much my go-to kind of beauty secrets, beauty routine, skincare, and makeup. This is kind of like my go-to, what I usually like to wear. Um, now let me know what you guys think comments down below and thank you vogue for having me on this video <laughs> even though it's not really vogue it is vogue it is vogue i'm manifesting but anyways you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below make sure you guys follow me on all my socials i love you guys so so much thank you for all your love and support lately especially in my last video i'm so grateful for each and every single one of you if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe and i will be hitting you with content every week so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and turn on those notifications but um anyways i hope you guys learned some tips and tricks some beauty secrets and i really love the way it came out everything so we will see you guys in my next video bye guys